Of all the things we've been able to accomplish, though, probably uh, one of the ones that's closest to my heart is we've drawn a very clear line in the sand. In the state of Florida, the purpose of our schools is to educate kids, not to indoctrinate kids. about it because I am, from a governor's perspective, want to ensure the integrity of our school system, but I'm also the father of a six, a five, and a three-year-old. And my wife and I both believe very strongly that parents should be able to send their kids to school, kids should be able to watch cartoons, kids should just be able to be kids without having some agenda shoved down their throat all the time. And in Florida, we're standing we're standing for the rights of parents to direct the education and upbringing of their kids, including the right of every parent to know what curriculum is being used in their kids' school. So we've enacted legislation for curriculum transparency, and parents, unfortunately, have had to blow the whistle on very inappropriate materials that will be in classrooms, like pornography in a fifth grade library? I mean, are you kidding me? Now, when the parents object, book gets removed, the media and the left will say that that's akin to, quote, banning books. But of course, schools have to curate what's in and what's out. You may have one book on George Washington, there's 50 others you could have. You're not banning those other 50 books. Anyone could go buy them if you want. But you have to make decisions about what's appropriate for education. So we fought back against this. I did a press conference that we called Exposing the Book Ban Hoax, because it is a hoax. But before I said a word, before I had the parents come up, I just played on a video screen the images that the parents had actually objected to. The local news cameras, they had to cut their feed because they said it was too graphic to put on the air. Well, if it's too graphic for the 6 o'clock news, how is it okay for a 10-year-old school child?